to season one, episode two of Love You, Ari. <laughs> so today's episode is going to be about mixing and matching um, items that you already have in your closet and your wardrobe for very last minute, pulled together, fantastic and polished looks for Valentine's Day, whether they be for you going out with your girlfriends or with the significant other, for your friends, um, your family, whomever it might be with. I just want you guys to look good. And so this video is going to be dedicated to showing you guys how I put looks together based on stuff that I've had from previous seasons, whether that be in the summertime, that be from Christmas or whatever the case is. So I wanted to show you guys a comprehensive kind of mix and match of how I put outfits together. And um, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you guys can take something from it and that you guys aren't stressing too much about looking good because guess what? You're already so beautiful. So stay tuned if you like what you've seen so far. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks guys. So I wanted to start out with this first outfit that I actually have on. I have three or four outfits that I laid out that are more casual and then maybe two or three that are a little bit more dressy and sexy. So again, you can mix and match. Um, you don't have to have the exact items that I, you know, that I'll be showing you in the video. I'm gonna link um, the items that I do have where I purchased them in the description box below if I can find the links. Some of them I purchased a really long time ago. Again, I said I'm literally pulling things out of my closet that are old, that I'm just kind of remixing and putting together for cute looks. I'm gonna start out with the outfit that I have on. So I will kind of show you a picture of what it looks like somewhere over here on the screen. And it's pretty much just this really nice um, sweater and it's a short sleeve sweater. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces in my wardrobe and I will never get rid of this sweater. This is a really nice, more dressy, but kind of still chill sweater. Um, the material is just so soft, it's pretty long. And then I paired it with this really cute um, tank dress that I got from a store called, I believe it's Sirens and it's in Toronto. And it's just a simple spaghetti strap dress as you can kind of see. And the back is super simple. It has ribbing and the color is really pretty and simple for Valentine's Day. Um, just mix and match simple um, outfits um, that have more, I would say, warmer tones. Um, and then if you want something a little bit more sultry and sexy, you can do maybe more cooler tones. So this is much more of a warm tone. This is something that I would throw on like if I was having an event at my house, I was just having girls over for wine um, to just chill or whatever. If I had a man, girl, if I had a man, then I would maybe put something cute on like this that kind of seems very casual, but still cute and like put together. Like I put a little bit of effort and thought into what I was wearing, but not too dressy so that I'm, you know, comfortable still at home. The next outfit that I wanted to show you guys is this little black dress. And this dress is super cute. Um, it's off the shoulder. It has like this elastic kind of ruffle detail at the top and it comes right off the shoulder. The sleeves have the same detailing at the bottom as, um, sorry, at the, uh, the wrist and then also at the hemline. It has that same kind of uh, ribbing, like ruffly detail it is ribbed um, so it's a ribbed dress and it's really cute uh, it comes to about the thigh you'll see it um, and when I post the picture up on the side there but it's a really cute more sexy and sultry dress very last minute dress that I, I got um, but it's really cute I love the material and it's a little bit more sexy without being overdone um, and so something black a staple that's black um, and just kind of, you know, a little bit more understated is always nice for Valentine's Day. You can't go wrong with wearing black. It makes everyone look great. It's a great, okay. So the second look, I don't think that they sell it on the website anymore, but I will put a link to any similar items that I could find. And it's this beautiful red dress. Now I love red. I love the way that it looks on my skin tone. Um, it's a spaghetti strap uh, dress. The material is not sheer, but it is thin. So if you were gonna wear this out um, for a night on the town, then I would definitely suggest putting either um, a really nice warm sweater over top, um, a cute jacket that you would keep on throughout the night, or even like a blazer to keep it, you know, a little bit more classy and cover just because the shoulders are out, the arms are out. Um, it does come down quite a bit, so it's, 
um, and it has a really nice kind of open neckline um, and this dress um, is just beautiful the color is stunning it looks so nice with a red lip um, the material is really soft and silky and I just love this dress and this actually was a dress that I recycled from Christmas so I've worn this dress I think once or twice for Christmas so that's another thing if you want to take um, color schemes that you've worn from other holidays um, like Christmas tends to have the reds and the whites and those are very similar col colors to like Valentine's Day and things of that nature so if you have clothes that kind of fit into that color scheme and you wanted to wear something from Christmas hey like definitely remix it definitely rewear it you could even throw on some different accessories just to make the look a little different and pull it together in a different way so that's that dress the next outfit that I have is more of a two-piece outfit so um, it's pretty much just this um, mesh caged uh, bodysuit and uh, you'll see in like the little image that I put at the side how I put this outfit together. Um, it is see-through, so you can either do one of two things if you're super conservative or you're just uncomfortable with having your whole breast out, you can definitely just put a jacket over top. I'm gonna show you um, the look with some nipple covers that I bought that are the actual perfect color for my skin tone, which is super hard. So I'm gonna also show you where I purchased my skin, my flesh tone, um, nipple covers and I think those are li they're literally a lifesaver for me and then I'm gonna pair it with this um, pencil skirt with the high slit and it's also that dusty rose color I told you I was kind of keeping consistent with that theme the slit is quite high it comes up to the thigh and this is a really nice more sexy outfit for like going out on the town um, with girls or with a significant other or loved one and if you wanted to wear it out, because again, the sleeves are more spaghetti strap, you can always just put like an, um, a sweater like this over top. You can either just keep on like a little leather jacket if that's what you're planning on wearing, just kind of drape it over your shoulders or something of that nature, just to keep it a little bit more covered, but still very just consistent and cute and, you know, thoughtful and all of that stuff. So you can definitely remix summer outfits that you have that might be of more warm color um, tones um, for Valentine's Day and just put different things over it especially if you're living in a colder place like I am it's useful to have these cute summer outfits that I can just kind of throw sweaters over top or just so now on to the more casual outfits so the very first casual outfit aside from the one that I have on um, is this uh, t-shirt dress and I've I've shown this t-shirt dress to you guys I think before. This t-shirt dress is actually from I think Sirens as well. The material, don't remind that it's super wrinkly girl. I have not ironed this thing because I haven't worn it. But um, this also is from the summer of last year. And again, like I said, you can remix stuff from other seasons and just kind of layer them up to make them more cozy. So this would be an ideal look for something that's a little bit more casual if you're staying at home or just going to a girlfriend's house or whatever the case is. It's really cute. The detailing at the front I love and then I love to pair it with just a really cute little bralette. So I have this white bralette with the rose detailing on it and then I have another one which I don't have out but another bralette that you can also kind of pair it with. Um, and this is just super just nice and like flowy. The material is really soft. You can always pair one of these t-shirt dresses with leggings so that it's not so, you know, out and open. And, and if it's colder, um, you can stay a little bit more warm by way of... Um, yeah, so you can pair this type of dress or top with a legging or something of that nature, either gray or black. And you may not think gray right off the bat, but um, black is very standard. So you can wear like a, a gray a legging, like a light gray or more of a, um, uh, a granite kind of color um, to kind of complement this very soft pink color. So this is a really nice casual outfit that you can throw together that you probably already have in your closet. Just a simple t-shirt paired with a bralette. The next look I have, um, I'm actually going to show you two different looks and how to kind of swap out one top for another and still maintain a very consistent and clean look. So pretty much I paired this long sleeve uh, white shirt and these were super cheap at H&M. I know, H&M. But um, these are super cheap at H&M over the summer so I picked up two um, and 
I'm gonna pair it with these white high-waisted uh, jeans that this denim I think is from um, Sirens as well because that's where before I started shopping on Fashion Nova I used to get a lot of my my denim from Sirens um, and so this was one of them. So I'm gonna pair it with these high-waisted white jeans and then this really cozy sweater, um, which is super nice. Um, and it's this popcorn sweater and I got this actually um, from a store in the UK. It's oversized. It doesn't have pockets, which kind of, you know, um, sucks but because i love a sweater with pockets but it's very nice it's very warm the material is beautiful the color scheme kind of goes in perfectly with everything else and so that makes for a very very cute and cozy outfit something that if you wanted to just go out to dinner or drinks with your girlfriends you could do that with this outfit because it's not overstated it's very understated but it still is cute and kind of fits in with the valentine's day color scheme if you will and then you can take that same exact outfit and swap out that long sleeve top for something a little bit more sexy and swap out that sweater for a little bit more of a more classier sweater, a sweater that kind of doesn't, is still cozy like this one, but it doesn't have that popcorn detailing which makes it kind of look a little bit more like, ooh, I feel like being extra cozy. Like this sweater, you can kind of throw it off of the shoulder and it still be super cute and casual and sexy. The, um, the popcorn sweater is a little bit more like you're staying in and like sitting by the fire and warming your feet and hands. I'm gonna switch out the top with this um, lacy bodysuit, this white lacy bodysuit. And um, this bodysuit is from, I believe, Misguided, and I love this lacy bodysuit. Uh, the detailing on it is fabulous. As you can tell, I love mesh. <laughs> I love anything mesh. I love anything that's a little bit more risky. Um, and so I'm gonna pair it with those jeans, and then I'm gonna pair it with this sweater. So you can either leave it just as the jeans and the bodysuit and have that be a look, or to keep it a little bit more um, cozy, you can throw on this over an over sweater that you might have at home and kind of you know tie it together a little bit more and keep yourself a little bit more cozy and warm and covered, especially because like I said, if you're in a colder area, you may not want to go out with spaghetti strap tops and things of that nature. So that about does it for my video. Um, I hope that some of the looks kind of inspired you to pull stuff from your closet, stuff that you already own, so you don't really have to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe just for one day. Um, stuff that's still sexy and cute, but casual and, you know, well put together. Um, and you may not have, have had to think a lot about it, but you know, you still look well put together and like you were thinking about this outfit for weeks in advance. So I hope whichever day that you guys choose to celebrate it with and whomever you guys choose to, this, to uh, celebrate it with, that it's fun, that it's fabulous, that it's filled with love just like every other day of the year. And thank you so much for joining me on this second episode of my Love You Airy series. And I will see you next time. Bye. Okay guys, so one last thing before I forget, I wanted to show you guys the nipple covers that I do use. And these are awesome because they actually match my skin tone as opposed to ones that are peach or several different colors of beige. Um, this actually uh, does match my very chocolatey brown skin as you can see. And I was looking everywhere on YouTube for someone who might have reviewed uh, nipple covers that were from my skin tone. So as you can see, if I just put them on my chest, they actually blend into my skin really, really well. So they're from Misguided and they're the nip covers from Misguided. I believe at the time they were $11. Um, not sure how much they are now. And um, they're really, really useful. The adhesive is really great. Um, what I actually did was they came, it's a little bit hard to see, but like they came with like this uh, thicker rim on the outside. So pretty much what you do is just peel back the nipple cover from the plastic backing and it's just adhesive on this side. Um, and you just make sure the area is clean before you apply it. So it had a very thick rim of plastic material around the outside that I didn't like that was detectable under clothes. So I pretty much just went around and cut that part off with um, some scissors and now they're perfect. Um, and so that's what I wear under more 
of my sheer outfits and um, it blends in really nicely um, and they're really useful. I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys that um, so you guys could have a better idea of what they look like. Okay, I'll see you guys later.